let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let brotherly love continue. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. Spiritual food, Hebrews chapter 13, verses 1 to 12. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them, and them which suffer diverse adversity, as being yourself also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But who are mongers and adulterers, God will judge. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Remember them which have, the, have to rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow. Considering the end of their conversation, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever, be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart is established with grace, not with meats which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. We have an altar whereof they have to, whereas they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle for the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin, are burned without the camp. Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Obey them that have to rule over you and submit yourselves. For they watch, oh, watch for, for they watch for your souls as they that must give account that they may do not, that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for you. First witness, Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 to 12. God, who at sundry times and in diverse numbers speak, spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, art in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he art appointed here, of all things, by whom also he made the world, who, being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, 
when he had by himself purged our sin, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made as much higher than the angels as he ought by the inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they, for unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in his first begotten into the world, he said, And let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels, he said, Who maketh his angels spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire? But unto the Son, he said, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even by God, even thy God, art anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the works of thine hands they shall perish but thou remainest and they all shall wax old as though a garment and as a vesture shall thou fold them up and they shall be changed but thou art the same and thy years shall not fail second witness Romans chapter 13 verses 1 to 12 Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of God the powers that be are obtained of God whosoever therefore resisted the power resisted the ordinance of God and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation for rulers are not a terror for rulers are not a terror to good works but to the evil wilt thou then not be afraid of the power do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same for he is the minister of God to thee for good but if thou do that which is evil be afraid for he beareth not the, the sword in vain for he is the minister of God a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil wherefore ye must needs be subject not only for wrath but also for conscience sake for for this cause pay ye tribute also for they are god's ministers attending continually upon this very thing render therefore to all their due tribute to whom tribute is due custom to whom custom Fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor, hold no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment it is briefly comprehended in this saying namely thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself love worketh no ill to his neighbor therefore love is the fulfilling of the law and that knowing the time that now it is high 
time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The, right, the night is far spent, <clears throat> the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Spiritual Chorus I have brought a new law, abide in peace, do not be provoked, abide peacefully. Quote, Brethren, this is the new kingdom. A lot of you do not welcome or appreciate the word of God when it is given unto you. You reject the word of God because of your flimsy claims that things are not well with you and as such you do not want it. Who told you that the heavenly things have common bearings with the earthly and carnal things? Now I am going to bless you all, all those who are indebted to people right now. The Father has provided means for you to defray your debts. All those who lack what to eat and equally lack accommodation right now, the Father has showered his gifts and grace upon you. All those inflicted with diabetes, cancer, hypertension, rheumatism, AIDS and other kinds of infirmities, Right now, the Father has taken away all those sicknesses. Henceforth, you would no longer have problem. All those whose spirits were weakened and completely dead, right now, the Father has reawakened and revived your spirits. Those in the mortuary now have their lives restored back to them. All those who lost their effects and people have today recovered them all. Henceforth, only joy shall abound everywhere. I have now granted you all your carnal desires. The choristers have been promoted. They now sing day and night before God in heaven. All those who have not testified before who now have endless testimonies. You have all been reformed and the Father has bestowed you with a kingdom that can never be shaken, a king that can never be moved. Therefore, all that abides with you now is joy. This fellowship is indeed a great one. It is, the, it is an all rank fellowship which comprises bishops, popes, reverends, choristers, children of God, and Christ's witnesses, Christ's servants, visioners, dead, heads, and whatever you can think of are all embodied in the all wrong fellowship. This is a meeting for the entire world because it is only joy that reigns supreme in this kingdom. There is no more segregation, enmity, poverty, and all that now exists is oneness at its peak. The old world that the old world has passed away and we are no longer under the law. The mosaic law is gone and now is the time to practice the law and covenant of our Lord Jesus Christ, which says, Love ye one another. The law of Christ comprises love, peace, patience, humility, meekness, faithfulness, mercy, happiness, joy, contentment, and all the virtues of God. Go to the vestry and purchase a copy of that book written by by a sister from Germany. The book is titled 
Can any good thing come out of Africa? This is the exact question Nathaniel asked. Nathaniel asked Philip when he was told by Philip that the Savior, the Messiah, had been born in Nazareth. Nathaniel questioned, Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip then answered him, Come and see the contents of that book written by that German sister have it that it is not money nor wisdom it is not wealth neither does it have anything to do with churches however what is today in africa surpasses human knowledge by the time you read through the contents of that book if you have never found joy in this life that book alone will give you lasting joy. The mystery in Africa. The book is not written about aeroplanes, husbands, wives, children, crime, or anything mundane. It talks about the mystery in Africa. The message in that book has indeed caused great confusion in the entire world and has brought to naught all the activities of the various churches in the world. It is neither church nor governmental affairs, but a revelation of the mystery in Africa. Though the spread of Christianity in the entire world was accredited to the whites, but what is found in Africa, West Africa, Nigeria, Cross River State, and finally at 34 Amber Street, Calabar today, surpasses the entire past efforts of the world. I am even marveled about the mystery in Africa. After I have read that book, and since then, my heart is found my heart has found absolute rest because I truly know that God exists. There is nobody that has read this book who has not sought for a copy. A certain brother whom I showed a copy of that book even refused to return it back to me and I had to allow him to go with it. The book, that book is capable of reawakening those who do not believe in God. The sister advanced further to add that we cannot feel, see, appreciate and acknowledge the mystery in Africa because our minds are fully buried in carnal things like husbands, wives, houses, money and wealth etc. These things do not comprise the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not wealth. It's not cars, money, or anything carnal. Recall that young man in the Bible whom Christ asked to follow him. And the young man pleaded, saying, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. The reply of our Lord Jesus Christ to that young man was, Let the dead bury the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. St. Luke chapter 9 verse 60 Preach the kingdom of God This is now the time for the kingdom of God Disengage yourself from all those worldly entanglements For they lead to nothing but death Go forth and preach the kingdom of God Again our Lord Jesus Christ said unto another Follow me But he replied saying Lord I will follow thee, but let me first go and bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. In reply, Christ said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plough, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. St. Luke chapter 9 verse 62. Brethren, is this not the bane of the world? I will now bless you. Third witness, Romans chapter 10, verses 6 to 12. But the righteousness 
which is of faith, speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down from above. Or, who shall descend into the deep? That is, to bring Christ up again from the dead. But what said it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith, which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all it is rich and all that call upon him. Let those who have ears to hear, hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the world. May my peace and blessing rest and abide with the entire world now and forevermore. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.